I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Richard Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you for joining me for episode number 274, where I'm going to show you select S does not equal blank syntax. In Quantrix, you have lots of select functions. You have select S, you have select, you have select greater than, you have select less than, uh, you have select like now. You also have something called select S or selects. And the beauty about select S is it allows you to add some conditional criteria to your select statement as your lookup value. And I wanted to show you how you do that with uh, your lookup value where it equals blank, if you will. How would you write a select S? I have here in Matrix 1, I have a list of premier bike riders, Billy, Brian, Derek, and Mustang. And then I have the month going across the top here. And I have a number of the bike rides they took in each one of these months. You can tell that uh, I'm getting anxious for spring and summer to hit here in North Idaho so I can start riding bikes. Anyway, I want to, in Matrix 2, I want to bring back the month where Billy first rode his bike and where Brian first rode his bike, etc. How can I do that? Well, logically, what I want to do is I want to bring back the month where there is an entry. So I want to ignore anything that is a blank up until that point. How do you do that? Uh, you use the select S function. So I would say here in Matrix 2 that my first month to ride is equal to select S. And what is my value range? It is Matrix 1. And what is my test range? It is also matrix one. But then what is my condition? You can see here in the tooltip, that is my third argument to apply the condition. My condition is going to be where it does not equal, so a greater than or a less than, greater than sign, so does not equal blank. And I do single ticks for blanks. So I do a single tick, single tick for a blank, and then I close that in a double quote. Again, the criteria here at the beginning is also written with a double quote at the beginning. I go ahead and I close that. And what this brings back is it brings back the ride number uh, or the number of rides that happened. But what I want is I want to bring back the month. So actually, I'm going to modify this and say at matrix. And then I'm going to say month because that's my category up here. And if I want to bring it back, and I have to use the at symbol with that to reference it. And then when I do that, I can see that Billy, indeed, he rode in January. Brian, he rode in March. Derek rode in uh, January. And Mustang rode in February. If I were to go ahead and delete some of these for Mustang, I would then expect to see June being populated here. Again, how do you write this? You use a select S. And then when I have a criteria that does not equal blank, I simply do a double quote less than, greater than, single quote, single quote, then my double quote is the correct syntax for that to happen. If you have anything uh, that you'd like to know how to do in Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. And I invite you also to go check out my updated website at quantrixauthority.com and see what offerings I have there for you. And again, please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.